I am Teacher Mean. Welcome sa ating math tutorial. For this video, we are going to discuss about inverse proportion. When we say inverse, inverse means opposite or reverse. So in math, when we say inverse proportion, when one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases and vice versa. So let's have an example. I have enough money for a vacation of 12 days. If I spend 500 pesos a day, for how many days will my money last if I decide to spend only 400 pesos a day? What are the two quantities being compared in this problem? So we have the number of days that is represented by D and the amount spent with, that is represented by the variable A. If we are going to analyze the given problem, if we spend 500 pesos a day and it will last for 12 days, so that would be D sub 1 is equal to 12 and A sub 1 that is equal to 500. Ang tinatanong will be, ilang days tatagal ang pera mo kung 400 pesos ang gagastusin mo per day? Let us represent X be the number of days will the money last if I decide to spend only 400 pesos a day. So in this case, Mas mababa yung ginagastos mo per day, mas mataas ang number of days will it last. If you are going to spend 400 pesos a day, therefore, mas mataas yung number of days will it last. So this is an example of an inverse proportion. Why? Because the amount spent decreases, the number of days increases. To solve the given problem, we are going to have d sub 1 is to d sub 2 or d sub 1 over d sub 2 is equal to a sub 2 over a sub 1 or a sub 2 is to a sub 1. Okay, so let us now substitute the given values 12 over x is equal to 400 over 500. So, let us use cross multiplication. We have 12 times 500 is 6,000. 400 times x will be 400x. To eliminate 400 here, we are going to multiply both sides by 1 over 400. 1 over 400 times 6,000, that, that will give us 6,000 over 400. 400x times 1 over 400 will give us 400x over 400. So we have 400 divided by 400. We have x. And then 6,000 divided by 400 will be 15. So therefore, the answer is 15. It will last for 15 days if you spend only 400 pesos a day. Let's have another example. If four farmers can plow a 3 hectare land in 6 days, how long will 8 farmers do it? What are the two quantities being compared in this problem? We have the farmers that is represented by F and the number of days that is represented by D. If we are going to analyze the given problem, four farmers can plow a land in six days. How long will eight farmers do it? So, ibig sabihin, the more na mas maraming farmers ang gagawa o ang magpo-plow ng land, mas mababa ang bilang ng araw kung magagawa nila ito ng tulong, tulong. So, Again, that is also an example of an inverse proportion. Why? Because as one quantity increases, the number of days decreases. So how are we going to solve for this? We have F sub 1 is to F sub 2 is equal to D sub 2 is to D sub 1. Okay, or D sub 2 over D sub 1. So, let us now substitute the values here. So, therefore, we have 4 over 8 is equal to n over 6. So, let us now multiply. 4 times 6 will be 24. 8 times n is equal to 8n. 
And then to eliminate 8, we are going to multiply both sides by 1 over 8 or 1 8. So we have 1 8 times 24, that would be 24 over 8. And then 8n times 1 over 8, that would be 8n over 8. So 8n divided by 8 is equal to n. And then 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. So therefore, it will take 3 days if 8 farmers do it. Let's have another example. 4 equal pumps can fill a tank in 42 minutes. How long will 6 pumps if the same kind fill that tank? Okay, so what are the two quantities involved in this problem? We have the number of pumps that is represented by P and the number of minutes that is represented by M. Given the four equal pumps can fill a tank in 42 minutes, so that would be our P sub 1 is equal to 4, and then M sub 1 is equal to 42. So, kung meron daw four equal pumps, Makakapuno in just 42 minutes. Now, how long will 6 pumps of the same kind fill the tank? Since we are going to find the number of minutes if 6 pumps of the same kind fill the tank. So, ibig sabihin, we have P sub 2 is equal to 6 and then M sub 2 is equal to Y. Y here is represented by the number of minutes if we have 6 pumps so, kung mapapansin nyo sa ating table, so if we are going to analyze, the more na mas maraming pumps ang naka-open, the lesser the number of minutes will fill the tank. Okay? So, again, sabi nga, pag sinabing inverse, one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases. So, we have P sub 1 over P sub 2 is equal to m sub 2 over m sub 1. Okay, so let us now substitute. 4 over 6 is equal to y over 42. So let us now cross multiply to be able to find the value of y. So 4 times 42, we have 168. And then 6 times y, we have 6y. Multiplying both sides by 1, 6 to eliminate 6. Okay? So, we have 100, 1, 6 times 168 is equal to 168 over 6. And then, 6y times 1, 6, we have 6y over 6. 6y divided by 6 is y. 168 divided by 6 is 28. So, therefore, it will take 28 minutes to fill the tank with 6 pumps. Thank you.